Hey, how's it going? It's Jeff from jeffrey-thomas.com on the bass today, and we are going to be going over the pentatonic patterns for G major, E minor, and E blues. So, scale shape, chord highlighted. Underneath here, the actual fingerings for the chord. Da da, da da. Okay, and then moving from this part of the page over this way as we follow through. Make sure you're printing this on, out off the website um, so we can follow along together, all right? And then a handful of licks here at the end, so let's get down to business. Uh, first pattern, starting with the four string open. Easy enough. Third finger, third fret, open on the third string to the second fret. Moving to the second string open, second fret, second finger on that string. First string open, second finger, second fret. Now when you get to the highest note on all, all these patterns, I'm going to have you turn around and walk right back down. So. Okay. Chord. That's spelling them out one at a time. P-I-M-A. As an arpeggio. Thumb is P, first finger is I, middle finger is M, ring finger is A. P, I, M, A, or as a block chord, all together, right? Okay, moving into the next pattern, starting at the third fret with our second finger. Two, four, one, four, one, four, these are finger numbers I'm calling out. Now, back down. Okay. To the chord. Ta-da. Okay. G chord. G major. Uh, arpeggio or block. And then when I'm doing the block chord, I'm just sort of pulling up and out from the bass here in the right hand. Okay, third pattern in, starting at the fifth fret with our first finger. One, three, one, three, one, three, one, four. Okay, when we get to the highest note, come back down exactly the way that you went up. Easy enough, huh? And then the chord is going to be maybe a little bit more effort because you have to bar that first finger. And then your third and your pinky have to go down at the seventh fret. G over B. So whenever you see a letter name and a slash, say the slash is over. So G over B is the name of that chord. Uh, now we're going to move into the seventh fret with the first finger. And one, four. Fret seven and ten. Same thing on the next string. Second string is going to be fret 7, and then 9, fingers 1 and 3. First string, same thing, fret 7 and 9, fingers 1 and 3. I'm going to come back down on this with you. Let's see, 72. Starting from the high note, coming back down in eighth notes. I'm going to play the same note twice, too, okay? So watch this right hand. Ready, go. metronome, make friends with it, it's going to be important for you. Uh, the chord that goes there on this pattern is a bar over two notes with the first finger, and then the third and the fourth finger down. Okay. At the seventh fret. All right. Now I'm going to move up for the last pattern at the tenth fret, and we're going to start with finger two. Pinky is going to go to twelve. 2 on 10, pinky to 12, first finger at 9, pinky to 12, first finger at 9, pinky to 12. Okay, chord. Same chord as we used just a minute ago. God, this bass neck is just hurting. 
sorry, 10th fret. Bar with your first finger, third finger down, pinky down. And then all the techniques here for the right hand. Um, okay, uh, lessons coming up on the, on the website. Scale practice routine for bass. Very important. It's going to be talking about technique, quarter notes, eighth notes, triplets, and sixteenth notes. It's super important, so look for that. And then also remember that I'm teaching on Skype, Uvu, Yahoo Messenger, Windows Live, uh, with webcams, and we can go into even further detail. So don't feel you're stuck with this goofy video here. Uh, okay, moving into the licks. First lick, lick number one is in 7-4. You might recognize it. Okay, so basically Money by Pink Floyd in the key of E minor. Originally, back here at B, right? But since we're in E minor, I wrote it there for you. Let me explain the counting here for you at 72. Ready, go. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, one, six, seven, one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven. So seven beats per measure. That's interesting about the tune. Uh, and then moving on to number two. We have a E minor 7 chord that I wanted to point out. So I've got third, first, and then my pinky down here, and then I'm spelling everything out P I M A. Okay, and then let me run that for you in time. Ready, go. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. So just a little. Uh, voicing there for E minor 7, which works really well on the bass. Okay, number 3 is continuing with that same chord, but mixing it up a little bit. Okay, time, 72, ready, go, 1 and 2 and 3. Okay, so recognize that this whole area that I'm working out of is just like the pentatonic here starting at the fifth fret, right? So nice to see how things sort of come out of these pentatonic patterns. All right, number four, moving up to the tenth fret. I'll run the lick for you. You have a pickup on four and one, two, three. Grace note slide, my friends. So grace note is that little teeny note that's detached from the other guys. And uh, it is going to cover slides, bends, hammer-ons, pull-offs, tapping. Whatever may happen that is instant without time. So let me demo that with time there. Just that slide. It's on the Anna 4. 4 and... Four and so it's boom right on the beat. You do not count time on a grace note. Okay, number five is kind of like a purple haze groove, right? Okay, uh, what's going on is you have octaves basically. And I'm bass note on a uh, thumb on the on the low note, P on the th on the uh, bass note, and then alternating. So P I P M P I P M. Very important for octaves here in the right hand. And then as far as left hand fingerings, uh, when I get here, I'm choosing to use one and four, but you could use one and three. And then I wrote hammer-ons are optional. So let me run that last beat for you. 
That's it with hammer-ons, and then without hammer-ons. So more articulate, right? More defined when you play it without the hammer-ons, but either one is cool. Um, moving to number six, we have a blues lick in 6-4. And uh, so I wrote E7 above that for your harmony marker. Uh, kind of without going into too much detail, if you're in E blues, you're going to use the E minor pentatonics. They go together. So A blues, A minor pentatonics. Blues in the key of B, B minor pentatonics. There's definitely some heavier reasons for why that works, but for now, um, we'll just keep it at E minor pentatonics for E blues. Let me run the lick for you. Coming in on six and one, two, three, four, five. triplet there. One, two, three, four, five, six triplet. I. Okay, um, and then also details here, bass note with the thumb, P, and then I and A down here for those two notes. Really important for the right hand technique. Also a number one reason why finger style is very cool on the bass, because it would be kind of rough to get on a pick. Okay, number seven is answering the common question, can you mix pentatonic patterns up? Absolutely. You can go in and out of any pentatonic pattern, direction going up, direction going down. And um, so feel free to shift in and out of these patterns. Number seven is a good example of that, okay? So here we go slow. Right, I play it open, then I'm already into the next pattern above it. Then I slide up again to seven. Then I slide into the next pattern there, and then up into the highest pattern, and then a pull off, and then the next measure is so that lick is kind of cool. Start with M, then I pull off, drag I over to the second string and do another. And then I end with the second finger, or you could end with your first finger on that last note. Let me run that for you in time. I'm going to take it slow, let's say 58. Ready, go. Okay, you could also play that in eighth notes. Let me break it down. One and two and three. Okay. And that should keep you out of trouble or in trouble, either way. And uh, I hope that was a good handful of stuff to go through. If you look at the end of the lessons, I'm also putting related lessons. So for this one, I would say triplets and tuplets and 16th note divisions for the bass, for sure, are going to be good ones for you to look at also. So until next time, I will catch you later.